Welcome to Digital Dealer 16. It's my pleasure to be speaking again this year. I'm Jim Dykstra, head of automotive for Comcast Spotlight. And this year we're going to be focused in on probably one of the most confusing areas of the business when you look at new car sales. What does it mean to improve the return on your investment, on your total advertising investment, as we go forward in a very complex advertising world? How do you balance traditional advertising and digital marketing to get the best results? The answer is really kind of straightforward. Number one, you have to create enough demand for your dealership. Remember, the consumer is choosing the dealer, and you have to have done an effective job of giving them the right reasons to choose your dealership. Number two, you've got to balance all these pieces. There's not one piece that will solve your problem in terms of advertising. It's the effectiveness of the mix. So we've got to make sure that you've got the right mix and that you're moving that mix forward and not tinkering with it too much, if you will. There's three big mistakes dealers continually make in this area. Um, you probably know a few of them, but we'll go through those and, uh, and come up with some stopgap measures. See if we can help you defend against making the mistakes that hurt you most, uh, even though you probably make those decisions with the idea of improving the return on your investment. And most importantly, at the end, we'll wrap up by looking at metrics. Not the, the thousands of metrics anybody might hand you, uh, whether digital or from any other source, but the core metrics that a dealer should look at daily weekly, monthly, to manage the, the business in such a way that you're improving profitability over the long term and maximizing franchise value. Thanks, and I look forward to seeing you in Atlantic City.